Yay, sparring. I have not had anywhere near as much time for it lately as I would like to. I used to go to Hima practice three times a week, and lately, when I managed once a week, I was pretty much lucky. So, I expect to be really rusty, and, you know, there was definitely some rust to shake off, but it wasn't too terrible. So, yeah, I'm fighting longsword with Kai here. Kai has the white leg guards. I, well, I was gonna say I have the steel gorget, but you can barely see it. It's just peeking out a little bit. Here was deflecting his thrust, stepping back to be safe, and cutting to his arm at the same time. Him throwing cuts way out of measure for some reason. I guess I had lost my sense of measure in the downtime. Nice cut to my arm there. That was a nice exchange. I threw the first one out of measure to get a response from him, and then the follow-up cut he managed to catch in time. So that was a very nice, quick defense. Would have gotten him otherwise. And here he did the same thing as before, but this time I caught it. So again, I throw a cut to provoke a response and then use his attack to power my follow-up cut. But he caught it, and I failed to catch his counter. I defended high, but he threw the cut lower. A uh, quick exchange there. No hits. Approaching cautiously. Then I threw a Shihao variation to his arm. I had the right idea here with a thwart cut, but I didn't follow through quite enough. It tapped him on the mask, but wasn't a valid cut. Here again, Kai feigned high and cut low. It ended up kind of tippy. I'm not entirely sure if this would be a valid hit. Accounting for the extra padding, it would probably be a superficial cut that wouldn't stop me in real combat. It's hard to tell sometimes, and moving back definitely mitigated that. If I hadn't stepped back, it would definitely have been a solid hit. Here's a very good one. He starts with a thrust and then follows up with a sword cut to my head. Nice and quick. Speaking of nice and quick, there we go. Excellent thrust to the throat. That would suck. So here I open with a thrust and follow up with a thwart cut, and it landed, but I did not like the edge alignment on that. I don't think that would have been effective. Here Kai dropped the blade on my wrist, but with a flat first, so nothing that would stop my cut, which landed on his forearm. Then we fought with Scottish broadswords. Some exchanges here and there, being very cautious to not present too many openings. That spark actually looked more dramatic in real life than it does on camera, but you can still see it. I was moving backwards quite a bit here to evade, which is safe, but has a drawback that you're just out of measure for counters. So safer for me, but also safer for the opponent, basically. And here's an example of the video I made recently about leaning. You can see how I lower my stance instead of leaning forward for the leg cut. I just about missed. I think the tip made contact, but it was insufficient. But uh, yeah, that way I don't expose my head. But here, he did get the head with the thrust, which was really nice. My mistake was anticipating a high cut and defending against it and raising my blade way too high, so I left a giant opening, which he got by striking the leg. Our Kai had insufficient contact with his cut because I was moving back and his arm was within reach, so I cut that. There was no hit here, but just to show you what happened, I feigned an attack to the right side, then cut to the left, which he caught. He countered with a thrust, which I deflected. Then he came around for a cut, which I parried. But I was too far to counter. This was almost a textbook deflectional parry. I say that because I caught it too close to the point of my blade, instead of on the center where there is more mass. It slowed his strike down to a light touch, but it still touched at all. So it could have been better. I tried to evade his cut while countercutting at the same time, but I was still too close. Kai got around my blade here and landed a great body shot. I would have had a chance to stop that if I had done a thrust to his arm here and stepped in, but you know, hindsight. 
Anyway, we hope you enjoyed the sparring footage and the commentary. Thanks for watching. Check out the links down below and have a good one, folks.